Hello folks, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be testing my 25 odd 6 in a Browning BAR and my Winchester 300 Win Mag also in a Browning BAR at 500 yards and maybe on some rock checks. Uh, a frequent commenter uh, who has a real cool moniker called Love to Handload, I think he's from South Dakota, uh, he requested that I shoot rock checks with a 300 Win Mag and a 25 odd 6. Well, frankly, that's overkill, but, you know, I'll give it a shot if I run into them. But first, I'm going to answer the age-old question, are hunting rifles any good for long distance? Now, remember, for me, 500 yards is long distance. No, I'm not a 1,000-yard competition shooter and probably never will be other than just for fun because, ah, quite frankly, at 1,000 yards, I can't hit my backside with both hands if I tried without shooting a lot, and I don't want to do that. So hang on folks, I'm going to shoot first at 100 yards, a cold bore shot to make sure both rifles are on, then move out to the 500 yards. Uh, we'll see what it does to that gong. These are pretty powerful rifles. So hang on folks, here comes the shooting. Okay, here's the disc, uh, put on a couple of T-posts. Remember this spot, that spot, and that spot, uh, because I'm not gonna paint those over, but we'll see how well the 300 wind mag and 25 odd six will do at 500 yards. I'll be shooting way back there on that open spot behind the cows back there. So you can see that's, 500 yards or better. So hang on folks, here comes the shooting. Okay, a little left. All right, now the 300 wind mag. Okay, now the 300 wind mag at uh, 100 yards. We'll see how close I can get. Again, I haven't shot this rifle in two years. So we'll see where it's zero is before we move out to 500 yards. Here comes the big boy. Oh, I forgot how, how good that feels. <laughs> That'll wake you up. That's traveling, 165 grain bullet traveling right at 3250. Uh, okay, both shots look pretty good at 100 yards. I'll take you down there and look at the target. Okay, there's the target. 25 odd six, 300 wind mag. Uh, that's close enough uh, in that circle to go ahead and shoot out at 500 yards. So. I'll do three shots each at 500 yards, and then we'll see if we can shoot some rock chucks. Okay, I've got uh, one camera out there zoomed as far as it can go. Here's the 300 wind mag shooting 165 grain SST at approximately 3,250 feet per second. So let's see if I can hit that gong at this distance. All right, fire in the hole.
that'll wake you up. <laughs> I think you heard it, folks. Uh, three for three. Okay, now we'll go to the 25 odd six. Pretty strong wind came up. You won't be able to hear me. But three shots on the gong. miles an hour you can see my shirt flapping so we'll see if the 25 on 6 can buck the wind I hope you heard that three for three all right for love to hand load now I'm going to switch over to whether or not I can get some rock chucks with the 300 wind mag and the 25 odd six might be kind of nasty so if you don't like that kind of thing you might want to go away now Well, love to hand load, what did you think? <laughs> okay, there's one about 250 yards. Be shooting this one with the 25 odd six. Right there. Well, there's the other one I shot. There's one right in front of it. Let me load up for a third shot. See if I can get it. There's three for three for the 25 odd six. There's more there. Well, there you are, folks. It's a heck of a way to enjoy your 66th birthday. Uh, I got to shoot my 300 wind mag. It's 41 years old. And my 25 odd six that I just got for Christmas. I uh, was able to finish off the shoot with some rock chucks. I uh, couldn't find the fourth one. He's out here somewhere. He probably crawled away in a hole. But 
Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, if you like this content, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment. I enjoy talking to people. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.